Hi, my name is Nico LaCastro and I want to give you a few disc golf tips that might help you improve your own game. First, I want to start off with a grip on approach shots. I call this a pinch grip or a modified fan grip. I tuck my four fingers curled on the underside of the rim and then I put my thumb in a position where I can control how much spin and rotation I'm going to put on the disc. And I start off, when I step up to a shot like this, I'm thinking visually, imagine yourself making the shot is the first part. So I'm thinking we're about 130 feet from here. This is a soft up shot, so I really want to control how much spin and rotation I'm going to get on the disc. And that control comes from your wrist and how much arm speed you're going to get into it. So on a short shot like this, I'm going to slow everything down and just focus on the angle that I want to release the disc, which is on a natural hyzer, and let it fall going towards the basket. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Part about practicing is going through the same repetitive motion so you're always in your routine. I like doing the same thing every single time and I think about that so I know what I'm going to do before I step into my next shot. On these short up shots, I like to make sure that my lower body is doing as much work as my upper body. So I wanna bend my legs and feel like I can lean back on them, nice and relaxed and balanced. And when I lean back, I actually pull back at the same time. So I'm able to fluidly move forward in a motion that feels comfortable. Okay, today we've talked about hyzer up shots, and now we're gonna talk a little about the straight up shot. The only difference is the angle that you release the disc. On a straight up shot, I'm gonna make sure that the nose angle of my disc is flat out of my hand on release compared to hyzer angle where your wrist is positioned pointing the disc down to the left and hyzer is pointing the disc to the right. If I throw a flat shot, I'm releasing it level through my body. So I'm going to show you the basic sidearm grip. This is a two finger underneath the rim sidearm. There's also a power grip sidearm and some people also use this type of flared out pistol grip. A few different grips you could choose but when you do a sidearm, usually two fingers are underneath the rim. Every once in a while people do it like this, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would try to get two fingers underneath the rim. And then the same as the backhand, you want to think about visualizing how the frisbee is going to fly. And the only way to do that is to get out and practice and know what your discs are going to do. So I'm going to throw an overstable firebird approach here with the sidearm. What was that? Cannon just went off in the background. Wow. All right, so we'll go through it just a little bit more. When I'm visually thinking about where my frisbee is going to land, I'm always looking at how I'm going to release the disc and imagining exactly how it's going to fly. So right here, I know this disc is going to be overstable. So I have all this room on the left-hand side of the basket to work with, and I'm going to throw the frisbee high enough to the left where it falls to the basket, 
because I don't want to overpower it and I don't want to undershoot it. So I'm going to use all that height to make sure that my frisbee is diving towards the basket on the sidearm. Now I'm going to take a half a step approach, pull back behind my body like this in front of me, and then I'm going to push through my core and pop the frisbee directly in front of me with my arm, extending fully. So when I pull through, my hips are moving forward and my arm is rotating through. You always want rotation. So here it goes. Line up with the hyzer. Pull back, hyzer it up there. Out on the green, get a little closer. There it is. That's the line that I was imagining. It's about repetition. You always want to repeat what you're doing and create a routine over it. So I'm going to do the same thing. Hyzer approach up high with the sidearm. Let it fall to the right. So we went over a few different grips, we've thrown some up shots, and now we're going to get into the fairway drives. And on my fairway drives, I either throw the modified pinch grip or a full power grip, depending on how hard I'm going to throw the frisbee. Looking at the basket right here, my guess would be about 330 feet. So I'm going to throw a power grip with my Firebird and do the same thing we've been talking about. Use the room on the right and let the frisbee fall to the left on a natural hyzer.